Long before Laisha Ward began climbing the executive ranks at Target Corporation, she learned to turn differences into opportunities while growing up in rural Indiana. Her parents moved to the small town of Fountain City in hopes that it would open doors to better opportunities. They made difficult choices and, and, and taught me that it was important to, to do the same. Because when they chose to take us out there, I was the only black kid in my class from first grade through high school graduation. And so it began a journey of me being the first one, the only one, or one of a few in many situations throughout my entire life. And it taught me the importance of building relationships with people who didn't look like me, act like me, talk like me, or sometimes think like me. Uh, and it taught me how to celebrate both things that I had in common with people, but also to celebrate and lean into our differences. And it became a superpower of sorts mm -hmm. that, unbeknownst to me then, would serve me throughout my life and career. One of the longest serving employees on Target's leadership team today, Laisha's work as Chief External Relations Officer spans purpose, culture, and community impact. My parents taught me, even though we had very limited means, um, that we could and should be of service to others. At Target, I get to be of service to our team, of service to our guests, mm -hmm. of service to the communities in which we operate. We provide a service to our shareholders, right? We provide service to our partners, whether those partners are our vendors and you know, small entrepreneurs who are you know, growing their businesses. Laisha represents Target through appointments with numerous organizations. But wherever she is, she prioritizes time with Target team members at all levels. Because I still believe if you take care of your team, then everything else follows, right? If you have a great culture and the team really is taken care of, they take care of your guests, right? They take care of the community in which the business is operating. They feel taken care of and their families are also taken care of. After the murder of George Floyd in 2020, Laisha helped Target create the Racial Equity Action and Change Committee, setting up bigger goals for the company, like spending $2 billion with black-owned businesses by the end of 2025. I'm most proud of the fact that, you know, my philosophy of leaving things better off than you found them has been realized. Across so many dimensions, Target is better. Um, and it's not just because of my efforts, it's because of the fact that I've been blessed and highly favored to work with extraordinary people, um, both inside of this company and outside of this company. So the company has continued to grow, not just in terms of its size and scale and scope, but in terms of its impact. And one of the areas that I'm really proud of is our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. We needed more women, more people of color, more people from varying backgrounds, and it's inspiring for me to see uh, the careers that they've not only developed, the impact that they've made, the opportunities that they've opened up for others as a result of their leadership and service. I want what's best for them and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to ensure that they have the life that they deserve, that they know that they're worthy, that we can be a community that is inclusive and equitable for all people.